Hi guys, this is John. I'm bringing you a very special interview today with a gentleman by the name of Jim Lustig. Jim is a friend of mine who's become a good friend of mine. He owns the Upper Crust Bakery, which is on the corner of 85th Street and Greenwood Avenue in Seattle. Sure. Thanks for spending some time with us today. We appreciate it. It's great to be here, John. That's great. Tell me a little bit, please, about your business. I know you got some things going. I own Upper Crust Catering, and we have been in business for 27 years. And we've been in the Greenwood location for 11 years, and we are one of the core businesses in Greenwood. And I know you have three kind of major thrusts with your business. Why right. don't you just tell us about those? Well, the original business is Upper Crust Catering, and Upper Crust, as I said, was established 27 years ago. And catering has been a great industry to be in, and it's all about hospitality. And that has led us into other areas. And what we've determined is hospitality is not only our catering people, but hospitality leads into homeless people. And so we have started another company called Urban Hands that is specifically set up to feed homeless, trade, train homeless for jobs and to uh, get housing for them. Okay, so that's Urban Hands. I know you have Urban a couple Hands, other things yes. going. What, what else, please? We also, um, a few years ago, I had developed some heart problems and what I discovered was um, that I needed to change my whole diet and I was basically a dedicated carnivore and uh, had five six clogged arteries most of them were 100% clogged so what I did is I changed my diet I became vegan which was quite a stretch for me but what I decided is is as long as I was gonna eat vegan let's spin it into a story and let's capitalize on it and let's take it to the public and let's start a vegan company. And the vegan company is called Harbor Creek Farms. And uh, so what we are doing right now, we're in, in the process of finishing off development of, of a number of products that are gonna be totally vegan and they'll be sold through Whole Foods, Costco, and a variety of other stores like that, PCC. So again, I think that's a very good market to go and, and we're gonna take part of the profits from Harbor Creek Farms and, and funnel it into urban hands to Great. feed them. Great. Now, I heard some of your recipes on your vegan food a little bit ago. Can you tell us about those? I'm my thought on vegan food is most of it's horrible. But I th my thought was, why do the carnivores have to have all the good food? Um, why can't vegans have food that's good? So what I did is, is we've developed some recipes and they're not inexpensive, but the, the thing is they're a good quality meal and so you feel like you've eaten enough to be satisfied. That is great. All right, so there's Urban Hands, and there's Harbor Creek Farms. And Upper Crest Catering. And Upper Crest Catering. It made, it's a natural choice because all of them are centered on hospitality. And again, hospitality, whether, you're, whether we're in our homes or whether we're feeding homeless or we're feeding catering, we should all treat people the same way. And so again, all of our products are designed, whether it's with the uh, farms, they're designed to care about people through the quality of the food. And that is only a starting place because it, it, the, the Harbor Creek Farms changes people's lifestyle as well as Urban Hands changes lifestyles too. Awesome, Jim. I love your philosophy of business. I love your philosophy of life. I know you're a man of faith. I think that's awesome. How can we possibly help you with some endeavors you got going on? There's a couple of ways of helping. You could help by um, donations. Um, if you have ideas or outlets that, that we could sell products in, that would be great. We want good quality food. We want lots of meat for people. Um, they're not ready to go vegan on the homeless, but we want lots of meat and we want good, solid, hearty grains. I love it. Jim, I, I love what you have going here. Thanks for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Great to chat with you. Okay, and as always, if you want continued updates on this, you can subscribe to the blog below or maybe to the side, depending where it is today on the blog. Put your email address in there and you'll get periodic updates with interviews and good stuff on mortgages and all kinds of fun stuff. Thank you.